Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I received an order which I placed with Macy's and I opened the box and I decided I'm not going to keep this bag. However, one of my YouTube friends asked me if I would do a review on this bag. And since I have it, I will. I can't give you an in-depth review since I'm not going to be using this or trying this or even taking off most of the packaging because this is a, an expensive bag and I want to get it back to Macy's the way I received it for somebody else to use. This, some, this will be someone else's treasure. It's a beautiful bag. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is the, the Coach Dreamer. This is the smaller version. They have a 36 and they have this, which as far as I know, has no number designation. This bag cannot be found on Coach anymore, actually, because uh, before I placed the order with Macy's, I wanted to place the order with Coach. And none of the sales, uh, rather the customer service reps, were able to locate this bag. They located something similar, which is a little larger and uh, has plain leather. It doesn't have the, um, the buffalo leather and it doesn't have the suede. It has, or maybe it has suede inside, I'm not sure because I've never seen those bags. But it doesn't have the buffalo leather and it's um, a little larger than this. So they could not locate that bag, so I, I didn't have actual specifics on it. But I did find out what I could, and I could give you some information. So first of all, I'm not gonna take off the handles. The handles are leather, and the, it comes like this. I don't wanna unwrap it. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. It is called the Dreamer, Riv Dream Dreamer with Rivets in Oxblood. This is brass and there is plastic over it, which tells me that this can be scratched. This the, and this is smooth leather and smooth leather, any smooth leather is more vulnerable to scratches than pebble leather. This is pebbled buffalo leather on the sides, on the insides here. has uh, two zips that could be that could go in any direction you could keep them in the middle or down on one side I didn't want to take off the padding the packaging for this either and there are pockets on the front and the back and inside the pockets is suede and the pockets accommodate up to my wrist, from my wrist to my fingers, in depth. So that's a pretty nice size pocket and it's on both sides, as I said. I want to be very careful with this because I don't want to scratch this bag. It has the brass rivets going around here and around here, over the top, on the inside. Over here, well, she isn't actually the inside, it's the outside, inside of the outside, I guess you'd say. On the bottom, and there's feet. I, I don't know if this is metal or if this is metalized plastic, <laughs> but it, it doesn't, doesn't really feel like it's brass, but this does. And this does. This, this feels absolutely like metal. It has circles which connect over here, which connect from the bag to the handles. This is a 22 inch strap and it, you can adjust it. Going inside the bag. Oh, well, there goes one of the packaging and this is the as long as it's off this is nice it's very solid nice the zipper was very smooth inside it's larger than you would think that's a big space for this little bag it has a zip pocket on this wall and a very shallow no, no that's the zipper pocket yes this is the 
the zip, the slip pocket, and it's shallow. It's about from here to there. It has some kind of a nylon or polyester lining that's in, in oxblood. It says coach on it. And there's the coach creed. And there is coach engraved on all of the hardware. These are, this strap attaches with D rings that are diagonal. So this would be one attachment. And this would be the other attachment. And this is how it looks. Hard to tell with the white handles. This is really a beautiful bag and lightweight. This is two pounds. It I don't think this has the 1941 hang tag. I think it's a regular hang tag and a um a piece of leather with a C. If you could see that through there. But it's not the big chunky 1941 with the horse and carriage that the, that the 1941 line does have. This doesn't have it. So let me give you the dimensions of it. Well, I told you it's two pounds. The height is six and three quarters. The width or the length is eight and a half inches this way, and the depth is five and a half. No, sorry, four and a half in depth. This way. So what do I think of this bag? Aside from it being very beautiful and expensive, this bag is $550 in Macy's. It is not, nowhere to be found on coach.com. And the, as I said, the customer service people couldn't locate it. They couldn't even give me a number. And it's excluded from these sales at this point anyway. If it comes up later as a sale that uh, it's going to be introduced, that could be possible. But right now, I was not able to locate it and neither were they. So this is what I think of this bag. I think it's a rogue. This bag is a rogue to me. Aside from this, this overlay of leather that goes on here, there is a specific name for it and I remember reading it, but I don't recall. This is basically the same. They, all, they both have handles and this one has a cord, uh, a strap to hold, to, um, do as a crossbody, wear as a crossbody, as does this. You could put these handles down if you want and still wear the strap. And I think this is very similar. I think this is basically the same style with modifications as the Rogue. The Rogue is bigger and heavier. This Rogue, which is the Rogue 25, the basic version, is two pounds, 2.2 ounces, which makes it 2.2 ounces heavier than this. But this feels lighter for some reason. The dimension difference is uh, the Rogue is seven and a half inches in height, and the Dreamer is six and three quarters inches in height. So they're pretty close. Not, not a big difference at all. The length of the Dreamer is eight and a half inches. And the length of the Rogue is nine and three quarter inches. And the depth of the Dreamer is four and a half inches and the depth of the rogue is an inch larger, five and a half inches. So I think they're very similar. So if you like to carry the rogue, I think this is having something similar but different. And it's, it's a gorgeous bag, it really is. So let's see what fits in it. 
I put my things in it and they fit very comfortably. I use my large wristlet for as a catch-all. My small wristlet for my keys. I happen to be carrying a small wallet, but a, a full-size wallet fits as well. If you're brave enough to take lotion in this bag, it will fit in on the side. Altoids or any kind of a mince or gum, you could put in any of the slip pockets. Works fine. And my phone fit in here perfectly. My phone, which is the 6S Plus in the chunky case, the out of box, does not fit in any of the pockets inside, nor does it fit in the outside pockets. It was too long to fit in this pocket. You could put it vertical, vertically, but a little, a little bit of the phone does stick out. I wouldn't put any, anything bulky like that in here because I wouldn't want to stretch the leather. But maybe it won't stretch. You know, maybe, you know, if you have a thinner phone or if you have a phone without an outer box, uh, maybe it won't make any kind of an impression on the leather, which would be good. So this is my glasses, which actually don't fit in a, in a space on itself, but it fits on top of everything else. And this is how it would look. So this, and this bag, look at, look at how large it stretches. Really a, a nice accommodation, I think. Zips easily. This is closed. I'm not a person who likes to carry something on my arm, but if you, if you do, this is very comfortable. Those leather straps are, are comfortable. And this is the sales tag, if you're interested. It's at Macy's, currently not on sale. Well, that's, that's the bag, the Dreamer, and I've been dreaming about it but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take it. So um, if, I ha if I was a working person, but in my situation where I really don't go out, and it would be a waste. I don't even use my robe. I think I've used my robe once, but I'm hoping to uh, wear it for the Christmas holidays. So I definitely don't need another one like this, even though it would make any collection, it would be a prize in any collection, I believe. The pebble leather is just gorgeous. Look at the texture. I love texture like this. I love pebble leather, especially when the buffalo leather. I don't know if you could see it that well. See how beautiful and, and soft this is. This, by the way, these all this hardware is um, at least brass color. I don't know if it's actual brass. We have to get the, well, the magnets don't respond to brass, I believe. So we're, we're not going to know unless somebody does an analysis. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful for you if you're considering this bag. I, I love it. I think it's beautiful. And this is packed and it's not bulging at all. It's packed with everything I have, so it holds a lot even though it's a small size. The next size up is 650 and that's called the 36. And that is on Coach and that is on Macy's as well. well thank you everybody for watching. Have a great day and I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye now.